So in this video, we're going to go through some examples where we've got a factor in the denominator that's a quadratic that has no real solutions. It won't factorize, um, uh, so there are no real roots in this case, and so um, that adds an extra layer of complexity to the problem. Uh, I've made sure that three is a little bit more challenging as well. And obviously, you know, if you want to keep going with these, um, trying out other ones, then you don't have to have just two terms uh, in your quadratic in the denominator. So it could have been, um, well, anything where the discriminant of that quadratic would be uh, negative would work for you, okay? so. Let's start with number one. So what we can do is write this as a over 5 minus x plus bx plus c over x squared plus 5. So if we multiply both sides by the 5 minus x, x squared plus 5, we should be able to get 4x squared minus 16x minus 50 should be equivalent to a lots of x squared plus 5 plus bx plus c lots of 5 minus x. So if we start off with letting x be 5 to knock out that bracket there, we've got to substitute 5 into the left-hand side. So 4 lots of 5 squared take away 16 lots of 5 take away 50 is minus 30. And then we're going to get 5 squared plus 5, so 30a. So a must be minus 1. So if we now let x be 0, we're going to get minus 50 on the left-hand side. We're going to get 5 lots of a, so minus 5. The uh, x there will be 0, and that x will be 0. So we'll just have 5c. So if I add 5 to both sides, so minus 50 plus the 5, and then divide through by 5. So we get minus 9. So C is minus 9 in this example. Right, so now let's just choose another value of x. So let's do x is 1. So into the left-hand side, 4 take away 16, take away 50 is minus 62. We're going to get 1 plus 5, so 6 lots of A, so minus 6. Uh, then we're going to get um, plus B minus 9 times by one take uh, 5 take away 1, so times by 4. So minus 62 is minus 6 plus 4B minus 36. So minus 62, add the 6, add the 36, gets me to minus 20. So B must be minus 5. So that means that we can write this as, so 4x squared minus 16x minus 50 over 5 minus x, x squared plus 5, is minus 1 over 5 minus x, plus um, minus 5x minus 9 over x squared plus 5. So you could write that a little bit more neatly. So minus 1 over 5 minus x minus 5x plus 9 over x squared plus 5. Okay? You could always um, get rid of the minus sign up the front by swapping the places of these. So 1 over x minus 5 take away 5x plus 9 over x squared plus 5. Okay? Uh, that's precisely the same. So that's number 1. Okay, so how about number 2? So we've got 9x squared plus 56x minus 2 over 3x squared plus 2, 7x minus 1. So we should be able to write this as ax plus b. So notice how I've changed the order of things, so the lettering will be different. 3x squared plus 2 plus c over 7x minus 1. So if we multiply both sides by the 3x squared plus 2, 7x minus 1, we can write 9x squared plus 56x minus 2 as being equivalent to ax plus b 
times 7x minus 1 plus c lots of 3x squared plus 2. So if we first let x be 1 seventh to knock out that bracket, we've got to substitute it into the left hand side. So 9 lots of 1 seventh squared plus 56 lots of 1 seventh take away 2 is 303 over 49. And substituting into this bracket, we have um, 3 lots of 1 seventh squared plus 2, and that's 101 over 49c, and so c would have to be 3. So we've now got c. Right, let's let x be 0 next. So we're going to get minus 2 on the left-hand side. We're going to get b times minus 1, so minus b. And when x is 0, we're going to get 2 lots of c, so 6. So um, minus 2 take away 6 is minus 8, so b would have to have been 8. So then let's x, let's let x be 1. So we're going to have 9 plus 56 take away 2, so 63 on the left-hand side. We're going to have a plus b, so a plus 8, times by 7 take away 1, so 6, plus c, so which is 3, times by 3 plus 2, so 15. Right, so 63 is 6a plus 48 plus 15. So if we take the 48 from both sides and the 15 from both sides, uh, we get that 0 is equal to 6a, so a would have to be 0. Okay, so what that's telling us is that if a is 0, then there is no linear term. In this one, there's just this plus b. So it is 8 over 3x squared plus 2. Okay, that could always have happened. Plus 3 over 7x minus 1. Okay, so that is question 2. Right, so last but not least, we have this 9x cubed minus x squared plus 40x minus 3 over x squared plus 4x squared plus 5. So what we should be able to write this as is ax plus b over x squared plus 4 plus cx plus d over x squared plus 5. Okay, so... 9x cubed minus x squared plus 40x minus 3 must be equivalent to ax plus b times x squared plus 5 plus cx plus d times x squared plus 4. Okay. So, what can we do first? Well, if we let x be 0, we're going to get minus 3 is equal to, well, 5b uh, plus 4d. Okay? So there is one equation that involves b and d. Right, so now I can start choosing other values of x. So I'm going to need, because I've got four unknowns, I'm probably going to have to end up having uh, a few different equations. So four unknowns, I'm going to need four equations. So let x be 1 to make this easier on ourselves. So 9 take away 1 plus 40 take away 3. So we get 45 is equal to, now we're going to have 
um, 1 plus 5, so 6 lots of A plus B. So 6A plus 6B. Then we're going to have 1 plus 4 is 5. So 5 lots of C plus D. Like so. Okay. Right, so then if we let x be minus 1, so substituting in minus 1, 9 lots of minus 1 cubed, uh, take away minus 1 squared, plus 40 lots of minus 1, take away 3, is minus 53. Now, if x is minus 1, we're still going to get 6 lots, but 6 lots of minus a plus b. So minus 6a plus 6b. OK. And substituting in minus 1 over here, I'm going to get minus 1 squared plus 4, so 5, uh, times minus c oh, plus d. OK. Now, what I'm seeing there, right, um, are two equations that I will be able to add together to eliminate the A's and the C's. That will give me two equations with B's and D's. So I should be able to solve those. OK, so let's, um, but I will still need another equation with uh, A's and C's involved in order to solve what I've got left, I think. Um, yeah, well, let, let's just do another one, just in case I'm going to need it. So let x be 2. So we're going to get 9 lots of 2 cubed. Uh, Take away 2 squared, plus 40 lots of 2, take away 3. So that's 145. Um, what are we going to get next? So we're going to have 2a plus b, so we've got 4 plus 5, so 9. So we're going to get 18a plus 9b. Plus, so 2 squared plus 4, so that's 8. 8 lots of 2c is 16c, and then 8d. OK. Right. So at this stage, let's call these equation 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I'm going to add equation 2 and add and 3 together. Right. So we're going to have the 45. Take away 53 gets me minus 8. The 6a's cancel, the 5c's cancel, so I'm going to have 12b plus 10d. Okay. Now, if I um, if I simplify that, so if I divide everything through by 2, so minus 4 is 6b plus 5d. Okay. Let's call that equation number 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to solve equation 1 and equation 5. So if I multiply equation 1 by 6 and equation 5 by 5, I should be able to eliminate the b's. So 1 times 6 is minus 18 is equal to 30b plus uh, 6, 12, 24 D. And if I multiply equation 5 by 5, I'm going to get minus 20 is equal to 30 B plus 25 D. So let's call this equation 6 and equation 7. So now, if I do equation 7, take away equation 6, I get minus 20, take away minus 18, which is minus 2, 
the B, 30 Bs cancel, 25D, take away 24D is D. So D is minus 2. I can then substitute that into one of the two previous equations. So if I substitute it into number 6, um, I'm going to get minus 18 equals 30B uh, minus 48. So minus 18 plus the 48 is 30. So 30 equals 30B. So B must be 1. So I've got D and B. OK. I now need to get C and A. So if I substitute those values into numbers 2 and 4, OK, so equation 2 becomes 45 equals 6A plus 6B, which is now just 6, plus 5C plus 5D, so minus 10. So that means I would have 45, take the 6, add the 10, is 49, is equal to 6A plus 5C. So that is now equation number 2. Now if I substitute them into equation number 4 as well, I'm going to get 145 is equal to 18A, 9 lots of B, so 9, plus 16C, plus 8 lots of D, so minus 16. So 145, take 9, plus 16, gets me 152, is equal to 18A, plus 16C. So that's my new equation 4. So if I multiply equation 2 by 3, I'm then going to be able to eliminate uh, the a's. So equation 2 times 3, um, 49 times by 3 is 147, is equal to 18a plus 15c. So let's call that equation number 8. So if I now do equation 4, take away equation 8, so I've got 152 take away 147, so 5. I've got the 18a take away 18a is 0. 16c take away 15c is c, so c is 5. I could then substitute back into one of these two equations. So I just substitute into that one. I've got 147 take away 15 lots of 5. So 18a must be 72. So divide that by 18 and we get 4. So finally, we can now say that 9x cubed minus x squared plus 40x minus 3 over x squared plus 4x squared plus 5 is equal to 4x plus 1 over x squared plus 4 plus 5x minus 2 over x squared plus 5. Okay? Now, number 3 is absolutely an extension problem, okay? You wouldn't get anything like that in the exam. But this is how you could go about it algebraically to find those missing values.